nine. And good evening to you. I'm Lourdes Duarte. And I'm Ben Bradley. Ray and Micah are off right now at 9. A developing story. Questions remain after a 13-year-old was shot and killed by a Chicago police officer. Monday's incident being called an armed confrontation at 2 o'clock in the morning. Tonight, a vigil is held in honor of Adam Toledo. And some activists are now marching to Mayor Lightfoot's neighborhood. WGN's Jenna Barnes is live at CPD headquarters with more. Jenna. Well, the Toledo family wants to know what happened, and they're hopeful with the release of body camera video, they may get more of the story. I just want to know what really happened to my baby. <laughs> Elizabeth Toledo is looking for answers after Chicago police shot and killed her 13-year-old son, Adam, early Monday morning. They couldn't shoot his, his, his leg, his arm, up in the air. I don't know, but I killed my baby. The Toledo family says no one told them Adam died until two days later. Police haven't released many details about what happened that morning, but they tell us an officer shot Adam once in the chest during what they call an armed confrontation in this alley in Little Village. Officers say the seventh grader was armed and ran from police with another suspect, a 21 year old who was arrested. The mother wants to know the truth of all facts surrounding the death of her son and we hope at this time that she'll be able to get it. Some community activists who held a news conference to ask for help putting an end to violence in Little Village have questions of their own. What was a 13 year old doing out on the street at two in the morning? You know, it's, it's, where were the parents, you know? Um, what was he doing with a gun? The Civilian Office of Police Accountability is investigating the use of force. After a review of state privacy laws, it announced Friday it will release the body camera footage of the shooting, first to the Toledo family and then to the public. Police say the officer who pulled the trigger is on routine administrative leave for 30 days. They had a lot of options, but not kill them. The Toledo family's attorney says they plan to review the video sometime next week. City policy requires it be released to the public within 60 days. Reporting live from CPD headquarters, Jenna Barnes, WGN News. Tough story. Okay, thank you so much, Jenna. Now